what we have seen now in the recent years is that big data has been a hot topic and uh, present at pretty much the agenda of every competition conference that I've been to. I don't think this uh, discussion on the implications of big data on competition law will die out soon. Mm -hmm. It's a complex matter how uh, data and market power and competition law uh, relate to one another. Mm -hmm. So we will surely hear, hear more about it in the future. Also, I think the, the broader topic of um, uh, the digital economy on competition law, including virtual competition, pricing algorithms, machine learning and uh, automation generally, um, are um, topics that we are going to be continuing to discuss and understand the, the effects that it has on competition law, policy and enforcement. Yes, I think competition law has the right tools. I think uh, calls to reinvent the whole antitrust toolkit because of big data is uh, exaggerated. The question is really how to apply these tools and um, if there is a need for intervention, how quickly that should take place. And moreover, uh, when applying these tools, what is the goal that we are trying to achieve? And uh, this is perhaps a broader policy question. Uh, what is the ultimate competition objective? Should it be a broader notion of consumer welfare um, in the age of uh, data-driven uh, business models and strategies? And should it include perhaps more than only economic efficiency to take into account also uh, non-price related competition parameters such as uh, quality, consumer choice and innovation? Uh, yes, I would definitely recommend uh, attending the Competition Law Conference. It's a great way to get updated on the hot topics in competition law, hear about recent trends, developments and, and cases, and uh, of course meet colleagues, uh, make new friends, um, and uh, just uh, get a bit to enjoy Brussels.